क्वेश्चन दैट वाई द पावर ट्रांसमिशन वाई द पावर लाइन्स इन डेनरस इफ दे आर कवर्ड विद द इंसुलेटर्स द पावर लाइन्स कैरी द हाई वोल्टेज कैरी द हाई वोल्टेज दैट आर यूज टू ट्रांसमिट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओवर द लॉन्ग डिस्टेंसेस while insulation can provide a degree of protection it had its limitations when it comes to power transmit power lines and they are there are several reasons why the power lines remain dangerous when they are covered in insulation first one is the insulation uh, insulation failures insulation failures insulation materials can degrade over time due to the factors like weather conditions uh, uv ultraviolet radiation pollution and mechanical stress when the insulation fails even momentarily it can lead to electrical arcing which can result in fires explosions and power outages insulation materials might also be damaged by the animals birds and tree branches second one is the uh, voltage levels voltage levels the voltage carried by the power lines even when insulated are extremely high high voltage create a strong electric field around the conductors if a person or object comes too close to these lines the electric field can induce a dangerous level of the voltage on object even if not directly touching the line uh, third one is the creepage creepage and flash over creepage and flash over insulators used on the power lines are designed to prevent the flow of electricity along their surface and that is called the creepage however under certain conditions such as the heavy rains uh, pollution build up or contaminated insulators a phenomenon called flash over can occur This is when insulator surface breaks down and electricity jumps across it potentially across it potentially causing arcs and compromising the insulating capabilities. Fourth one is the human error. Human error. people working on or near power lines might make mistakes or not follow the proper safety procedures leading to accidents insulation can provide a false sense of security and workers might assume that being insulated means they are completely safe which is not the case when dealing the high voltage fifth one is the accidental contacts fifth one is the accidental contact insulated power lines are often located high above the ground to prevent the accidental contact with vehicles uh, or equipment however these can be situations when objects like the cranes construction equipments or even kites and drones even uh, come to contact with the power lines leading to the dangerous situation sixth one is the step and touch potential step and touch potential when a power line or equipment becomes energized due to a fault the ground the ground around it can develop uh, 
the ground around it can develop voltage uh, gradients if a person stands with one foot on an area with a different voltage potential than their other foot there is a risk of electric shock due to the difference in the voltage potential between the two points seventh one is the electric and magnetic field electric and magnetic field power lines generate electric and magnetic field around them due to the flow of electricity while these field diminish with distance they can still have health effects on the people working or living very close to the power lines even when they don't come into the direct contact with the power lines themselves in summary we can say that while insulation provides a level protection it is not full proof when it comes to the high voltage power lines the combination of high voltage the potential of insulation failures environmental factor human error and complex nature of electricity makes power lines inherently dangerous proper safety measures awareness and following established guidelines are the crucial when working near or around power lines to prevent the accident and injuries so this is the brief explanation of why the power lines dangerous if they are covered with the insulators so these seven points first one is the insulation failures second one is the voltage levels third one is the creepage and flash over fourth one human error fifth one accidental contact sixth one is the step and touch potential 